What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Oh my god, tap out for what with the gifted subs, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, tap out for what? Tap out for support is what? Thank you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can definitely head on over to twitch.tv slash and click that subscribe button. If you guys have Amazon Prime Thank and Twitch, you. you get a free sub every month. It's free. Absolutely free. You can support a content creator like myself. And considering content creation is my sole source of income, it's really appreciated. We're still working on the November rent. And it's December. So, what are you going to do? Um, but right now we're doing a Masters Cube draft. No, it's Masters chaos draft this pack is fantastic wow really like baloth null really like murder of crows don't care at all about flash i'm gonna take baloth null i think it's actually better than murder i think this card's secretly real not even secretly actually in a blood hunter back comes back that'd be great if epic confrontation comes back that'd be great i'm gonna take null more like baloth null sense <laughs> am i right uh, I'm, I'm i'm right i'm correct Jareth, Leonin Titan. I think it's just Civic Wayfinder. Oh, or Llanowar Elves. Is Llanowar Elves just a better Civic Wayfinder? No, a Civic Wayfinder lets you splash things. Phantom Monster. As far as Hill Giants go, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm muted for 30 seconds? Was it my Baloth Null Sense joke? Dang, hate is gonna hate. I'm gonna take Civic Wayfinder. Llanowar Elves requires you to have uh, enough green mana to play it on turn one to get full value, whereas Civic Wayfinder you can easily play on turn three, and also it lets you splash, as we mentioned. <sighs> Hungry Spriggan, it's a 1-1 one, one for three that attacks as... Well, that guy, got, that guy got big and stayed big. I think it's actually Golgari Rotworm. I would take the Demir Guildgate, but I'm literally limiting myself from drafting Soul Tide twice in a row because we can probably manage with a sweet black or green deck and be fine <laughs> oh my god mark i'll check the discord after um i like scatter the seeds three one ones at instant speed no less uh i don't really care about rusty relic it's never going to be a five five bone splinter is actually fine especially with civic wayfinder uh, you may sacrifice any number of spirits. This is just tendrils of agony. Instead of, um, instead of like casting spells, you just sacrifice creatures. I'm gonna take bone splinters. Anything worth going abs in? Well, this isn't just a set though. That's the thing. The chaos drafts are literally like, um. Modern Masters, Vintage Masters, Iconic Masters, 25th Anniversary. Like, it's all the Master sets. So, yes, I assume there are a lot of cards uh, that are worth going Abzan for. Whether we're going to open them? I don't know. Haters gonna hate. What do we got here? Sift. Oh, fuck, we're not blue. Dang it. I got so wrapped up. Sacrifice an artifact or creature at sorcery speed to put a 1 1 counter on this. Eh. Divest. Hits an artifact or a creature. Not bad. Disciples. Not great. Wellspring is fine, but it's like. Do we have anything to sacrifice? I think we just take the. I'm really trying, guys, but this is, like, such a good card. Oh, God, I'm gonna take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the best card in the pack. Like, I think 2-2 two -two Death, Death Cobra is just not nearly as good. Uh, no, Modern Horizons I don't think is one of the options because it's not a Master set. 
it is it, master sets are all reprint sets modern horizons is not a reprint set I do like Gurmag Angler here. Choose an opponent. So if they have like two creatures, this is a 4-4. Four, four. I don't think this guy's actually that great. I think I'd just rather have Angler. Angler in my dangler. If you know what I mean. I don't I don't really know what I mean personally, so. Ooh, we got a B Moon. Pepper Smoke. I do like a Pepper Smoke, but without a fairy, it's really not great. I like Mad Ante, but without goblins, it's really not great. <laughs> I like Mirror Enforcer, but without without artifacts, it's really not great. I'm just going to take the Terramorphic Expanse. I think it goes fine, especially if we're trying to splash them like Sift. Are the MTG only releases also here? Vintage Masters? Yeah, Vintage Masters is here, yes. We, we got a Vintage Masters pack last draft. Yeah, it's all, it's all Master Sets. This two blood moons back to back, that's hilarious. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, the value is just so high. Exclude is just such a top tier pick. I don't even want none of Oh god, why do I get this? Actually it's the Dave it's the Dave Chappelle version of that song, so I don't feel too bad about it. Oh, what do we got here? Totally lost is not totally terrible. Nihil spell bombs kind of meh. Hey, there's a reason we entered the soul library. It's true. I mean, just looking at this pack objectively, like God's willing is fine if we're white, Kindle's fine if we're red, but like, we're not. I think totally lost is fine. I think Nihil spell bomb could be decent, but I think the times I'd prefer to just have an instant speed totally lost is higher than the times I'd prefer to board in a. Uh, Is this an elf? Oh, that's exciting. We can return Civic Wayfinder to our hand. Oh, and the, the, the guild gate comes back? Come on. It's just meant to be, man. Well, I do not see Devouring Greed being very good here. Let's we'll take Steady Progress. We don't know what kind of proliferates we're going to get. Yeah, I'll take it to Vest. Miming slime? Sure. Wow, one of the blood moons came back. Wild. Wolfbriar Elemental is great. Love that. Love that jabroni. Uh, Agony Warp is also very, very good. I think we're taking the Wolfbriar. And then we're like crossing our fingers for a... Uh, yeah, like an Overwhelming Stampede or like an Overrun type card, right? That seems reasonable. 
Also, this makes two twos easy to sacrifice with bone splinters. Good to get back with Bailoff Merle. Puppeteer click seems sweet. Um, don't really care about death denied. We are going to try to limit our splash this time. These are these are very good. Um, we can also take Sphere of the Suns. I do kind of like Puppeteer click, actually. I think it's just a really solid card. I mean, Sphere of the Suns could come back, but Puppeteer click being able to like pull a guy out of their graveyard is great. We could also cast Puppeteer Click, sack Bone Splinters. Uh, or cast Bone Splinters, sacking Puppeteer Click. Puppeteer Click comes back, triggers, we can get the guy we just killed back. We can't do that actually. Oh, Devoted Druid seems fantastic here. Again, it's another elf we can return to reset the counters if we want to. I don't know if that's great or not. I also do like Flight of Fancy, so if Flight of Fancy comes back, I'm pretty okay with that. Kozlox Predator, actually. All right, all right. These are some pretty good pickups. I'm okay with these cards. Icar Wellspring would be great, uh, just like the previous one we had, but we don't have a ton of ways to get rid of it, so it's literally just two-mana draw card. Yeah, I think you guys are right. It comes back first, but, like... Like, it's part of the cost, right? So you sacrifice this to put the Bone Splinters on the stack. No, Compulsive Research is great. So is Sylvan Ranger and Simic Guildgate. Jeez. I don't really care about Mystical Teachings. We're on a Mystical Teachings deck. We can get an instant card so we can get our one exclude. Compulsive is actually really good with uh, Gurmag Angler. Let's take Compulsive. Drawing three cards is pretty bananas. And if, if the, I mean, the Simic the Guildgate might actually come back. Grizzly Spectacle? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Hypersonic Dragon Suite. I love me some pretty bananas. I have no idea what that means. Oh, pine? That's... <sighs> literally gonna... We're literally printing that. That's insane. That should not have... I <laughs> didn't even see what was in that pack. Uh, it's 
so frustrating. I literally clicked on it once. Eh, Emperor Crocodile's kind of mad. Giant Tortoise, I don't see us playing. I don't know. I mean, I guess Pine Barrens is fine, but... Whatever, I'll take the stupid Crocodile. Oh, Agony Warp came back? Sure. I guess we're just living... We're just doing this again. Carnarium came back? I'll take a Carnarium. Are people just not respecting the... The bounce lands here? Um, puzzle knot might be fine. Lose a life, yeah. Let's let's take puzzle knot. I don't really want another blue card. Arachnus web. Damn it! The blue Greenland didn't come back. That's stupid. Oh, Annihilate. Ooh, Counterspell. Ooh, Phyrexian and Jester. Oh, this pack is bananas. Phyrexian Rager, Phyrexian and Jester, Pilgrim's Eye. One, two, three, four, five. So there's six cards I would love to take. I think it's Annihilate. I think it's better than Malicious. The It Can't Be Regenerated is nice, and also the drawing a card is nice. Hopefully one of these three come back. Actually, is it just in Jester? Seven mana is a lot, though. Actually, it's not that much when you have Devoted Druid, Civic Wayfinder, Kozilex Predator. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's in Jester. Especially because we can get it back with Baloth Null. Sure. What the hell? Mana War? Oh my god. I really didn't want to take this many blue cards, but they're just the best. Phyrexian Ghoul is not that good. I don't think we need a second Sift. <sighs> Diabolic Edict is fine, but Mana War is just Mana War. Like, come on. Just give me one of those. Give me just give me an on color signet. We'll call it a day. I don't think Symbiote's making the cut yet. I think again, just being able to bounce this guy. It does let us untap a land, right? Oh, it untaps a creature, so we can untap Devoted Druid or something. Salt Formation, that's cute. Oh, Star Compass. Star Compass seems great. Jesse and Thief is also pretty good. Just draw a card. And Tuco Shaman is fine. Yeah, I'm just taking uh, Star Compass here. love an on color land here torrent of souls is kind of neat because it lets us actually uh cast the red half off of rakdos carnarium i mean being able to cast baloth nulligan actually it seems good i'm gonna take that yeah, mast admirers is actually pretty decent mast admirers seems great here actually This pack's second Kindle. Kindle could be good. Fire Blast is real good. I think there's multiple sets with Fire Blast and Kindle in them. Or this could just be. Return instant from your river to your hand. What do we got? Exclude, and that's. And Grizzly Spectacle. 
it's not an agony warp i don't think three is enough i'm still gonna take it over circular logic we're not a circular logic deck by any means i don't hate ever flowing chalice five mana this could actually draw us quite a few cards presumably brimstone volley there's a ton of red in here I'll take Chalice. I think Chalice is pretty good. Uh, I do like Gnarled Pack. I think you're fine. It's just a, it's just a small gentleman. Counter spell came back and nothing else. Well, that's unfortunate. Wow, I'm really surprised Frexian Rager and Pilgrim's Eye did not come back, but Counter Spell did. I'll take Frexian Ghoul. Wish our mana was a little better right now. I mean, I went three colors. It was my choice, I guess. Phantom Monster is fine. I think we're actually heavier blue now. Which makes me really question the old black cards, but I think they're probably still fine. I mean, list a lot of making one ones for every four mana we spend, then every six mana we spend is not super good. I don't know. I don't think we're playing Counterspell, to be honest. Maybe we just play Phantom Monster instead. Actually, maybe we play Explorer instead. This is XX where X is the greatest power, and it's actually meh. Oh, an Arcomiva? Sure. Oh, Fire Blast came back? Sure. You got it. It's a big ass sideboard. I really wish Frexian Ghoul was Frexian Rager. I mean, I think Compulsive Research and Sift really make this deck great. Like, I think in this format, the power level is a little bit higher, so, like, just being able to draw more cards. Like, we didn't have any cards drawn in our previous deck, so I really don't mind just having extra cards, extra ways to draw cards. Twenty three cards. We have Explorer, Devoted Druid, and Star Compass as two drops. Also Chalice. We only have five, six blue cards that require one blue, which is kind of nice. Steady progress is interesting. It goes to Gnarled Pack, Everflowing Chalice, Puppeteer Click to trigger it again. No, that would not work. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not super exciting. Uh, don't like Emperor Croc because I don't like having to have other creatures on the board. Counterspell's good, but I really don't want to dive into the double blue territory. I think this is probably fine. It's 13 creatures, but also... A lot of them come back. Yeah. Alright. We also have Terramorphic Expanse and Compulsive Research and Sift for things like... By Scrivage, are you referring to Scrivener? In which case, I do not think he's very good in our deck when we have... Uh, literally three incidents. If he hits sorceries too, I'd be on board, but Compulsive Research, Sift, Torrent of Souls, and Explore and Bone Splinters, like that would be, that would be great. But since he only hits instants, it's pretty bad. Nope. Four. 
five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, yep, definitely go down there, four, five, six, five, six, seven, Okay, one more. Definitely going further. Yeah, that seems good. All right. I'm watching with only one contact. If that, I mean, like that, that tells me that you can't see any of the cards. Because otherwise, you'd be able to be like, "Oh, that's not an instant. That's not an instant. That's not an instant." Right? Because like, you can't tell that they're not instants from this from this position. You'd have to actually know what the cards do. So if the one contact is affecting anything, it's affecting you being able to read any of the card names. They could probably see half of them. <laughs> Got them. Is in my brown eye? So my vision is all shitty. Wow. Wow. <sighs> His hand does nothing. Actually, a little better. Let's get rid of a green. And we'll go get a black, and we can play this guy on turn two. Uh, I definitely fan my card so the most visible is on the right. That just seems correct in a in a in an English society where where I read left to right interesting oh interesting yeah good point it could be handedness rather than how you learn to read oh well isn't that interesting it's a little bird man I actually kind of like Chalice here instead of Sift. One, two, three, four. Like this is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn so we can ingest her. Turn up on a discards a card. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just gonna ingest her here. Probably this guy. I don't really feel like discarding a card. So I can either have a 6, 4, or a 5, 7. I don't think I care about the flyer. I think I'd rather get the potential um, discard off the board. Okay. That seems fine. Um, I'll discard an island. Play an island, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is ten mana. It's a lot of mana. Predator, target creature against flying, destroy a creature with flying. Sure. That guy seems like it's gonna be friggin' huge. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five. Wait, what? Oh, so four, right? Yeah, okay. We did it. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're Reeve soling my, <laughs> oh boy, you got it. Predator flagship seems pretty ridiculous. Like for seven mana, they can kill anything. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. I'm probably actually going to kill this guy because, well, maybe we save it and. No. I want to be able to puppeteer click that guy and get it back. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's actually pretty good here. It's not a vehicle though, so got him. It's a good point. I had not considered that the lack of vehicality here. Super cool. Yep, that was really sweet. Oh, I'll kill your puppeteer click. Okie dokie. Noxious. Man, being able to just kill a guy every turn is pretty sweet. This is cool. It's still just two damage a turn. If they want to kill the click, that's fine. We get it back. Nine mana. It's your boy. Fascinating. Shh. 
picture. So they're going to take three instead of two, but I guess they save that. Uh, choose a player. Sure, you got it. So they're going to have to do this to the worm next turn. They're going to go to four. It'd be really weird if they played other cards other than the Predator flagship. <laughs> Wouldn't that be strange? I mean, we have Black Mana now. We have Star Compass. You got it. It's unfortunate that these are O1s and they don't produce black mana. Oh yeah, you like goblins? Name every go- Hmm. Well, they get to use five here. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Just hard casting here. It's not I have answers for they have to have answers for two things, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, we don't have red for that, but we can still get something back. Which is pretty big game. One, two, three, four, five. Torrent of Souls, not in Jester, not Wolfbriar. It's got to be Rotworm, right? Creatures, oh! Well, we're not going to do that, I guess. We do not have a red source, as far as I can tell. So they have to have an answer for Golgari Rotworm and another answer for this, right? So they can activate this to kill one, kill this with something else in hand. Okay. Wow. Do we have an answer to a friggin... Oh, Divest actually seems great. Yeah, let's get rid of your stupid artifact. What does I think cost five? Yeah, that seems good. Well, this is our second Chaos Draft. First one we went 2-1, which I thought was fine. We gotta play this one close to the vest. <laughs> Can someone uh, be sure to time out Destiny Trigger for that? Because... I'm just gonna submit with 41. We have a we have a, a bounce land, a star compass, a devoted druid, and a one land opener. Sounds good. All right. Well, this is actually significantly better. I kind of want to get rid of Ingester here because it costs seven. But you know, what can you do? Uh, 
I'm not going to play that until we actually... Uh, I want to max... I want to play this on turn four and maximize our chances of hitting it. I'm pretty sure... Pre I'm, I'm pretty sure it's got to cost... Uh, five, right? Yeah, it costs five. Okay. And pass. Tamir Guildgate. That's a good one. Caracas. What in the shit? Um, I guess we're just getting a second green for sure. So we can definitely play compulsive next turn into divest. That seems good. Play it into divest. Cathodian, sure. Um, let's divest you. Is that the vest you got? Oh, your hand is terrible. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, compulsive just feels better here than playing a random guild gate that we don't actually need. Uh, for sure, a land. I will take three. And they didn't do anything. They play land, they played an island. So we know three of the cards in their hand. Oh, the, the ingester came back? Uh, we're going to play forest. Play predator here. And now we still get to keep up exclude, which is fantastic. I do wish this guild gate was a uh, dismal backwater so I could gain a life. Drop into drone. Really? That's what you're going to do here? It's a solid draw. Guess I'll take it. I don't really want to take down the exclude shield because I think we're in really good shape if we can deal with whatever creatures they play. Although we do have an ingester in hand. We could also just play a phantom monster. Two, three, four, five, one, two. I'm just gonna live dangerously. If they play a creature, we got ingester. That's totally fine. It gives us a, a reason to play the ingester actually. Um, yeah, take three, I'm going to ten. This deck does not seem like a deck that really... <laughs> You're a little bird! Okay, click is not a deal here. Um... So next turn we can actually give negative power here, negative toughness here, block. But I do want to hit a land, so let's sift. Didn't hit a land. That is fascinating, isn't it? What are we discarding here? I think it's probably Mast Admirers. It's a card we can get back. So, I mean, we still get to keep up Exclude, and we still get to Agony Warp, so I'm not super concerned there. We know they played another island at least. So we know we know at least one of these cards. They played an island. They played an island. I don't actually know they played a swamp. I actually don't think they played the planes. I think we know their exact hand. I think they drew Reeve Soul, Swamp, Swamp, Radiance Judgment. Yeah, this is just fine. Negative three. Blue. Black.
Yep, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Just gonna keep playing lands here. Actually, we should have played click there. That would have been good. like we're going to win this game. Sure. I mean, that's never a huge deal when we have bone splinters in hand. So we can actually play Puppeteer Click and keep up Exclude again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Fortunately, no, my friend. You will not be coming back this turn. Let's get that Cathodian out here. Also, Bone Splinters might just be... No, I guess Bone Splinters isn't going to do anything next turn. I was thinking if we sack the click for the Bone Splinters, then it's like, oh, well, then we can get it back. But it doesn't have haste when it comes back, and this is only two power anyway, so... Okay. How are you enjoying PS5? Did you get Spider-Man? Yes, I got Spider-Man. I beat Spider-Man. PS5 is great. It's a fantastic console. Did you get the digital PS5? No, I did not because I have certain discs and I like the Blu-ray aspect of it. I think Starfield is definitely going to be first. Elder, I don't think they're even working on Elder Scrolls 6 until Starfield comes out. Which makes me sad because then I also have to wait for a Fallout after that. So I feel like it's probably not going to be like seven years until I see another Fallout. Which is like, unless, unless, unless Obsidian, who Microsoft owns, takes over the Bethesda title Fallout, which Microsoft also owns. I think there's been, I, I, I haven't played Fallout 76 myself, but I know there's been a ton of improvements, and I, I know a lot of people say that, like, once you get past the beginner content, the actual, like, um, the actual storied content with NPCs and stuff is actually pretty decent, and it's, it's definitely been compelling me to, two hands with one land, seems good. Well, let's go to five. Let's keep five. Let's ship these two things because they're both expensive and we can compulsive research our way back into the game. Unless they kill us. They're going to kill us. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is actually nice because we can go Star Compass on two, compulsive research on three play Pine Barrens tapped. Was Spider-Man the only launch game you got? Yes, because I just didn't. I wasn't super compelled by any of the other launch titles. Um, they look cool, and I'm kind of tempted to just try them, because they didn't, they're not, they don't, they got reasonable reviews. They just weren't my kind of games. But also, like, it's a PS5, and I'm kind of wanting, I kind of want to just see what it offers. And I'm sure they're not bad. You know what I mean? But yeah, Spider-Man's the only launch title I got. Superfits, the thing is, I don't really want New Vegas to, because I think the story of New Vegas has been told in New Vegas, and um, I thought I was going to gain a life here, and I didn't gain a life, I just realized that. I was really excited, because I was like, oh, you're a red aggro deck, I gain a whole life, you, you can't win. But then it was Guildgate, and we already discussed how I wish it was 
dismal backwater um i don't want fallout new vegas too i I think we're confusing how good new vegas was with how good a game obsidian made right i don't think it matters that it's new vegas i think it matters that it was made by obsidian which made a fan who made a fantastic fallout and um i think one of the best parts one of my favorite parts about the fallout franchise is that they all take place in different parts of america so you get to see all these different like these different cultures and buildings and locations from america post you know nuclear war right and i think that's the coolest part about fallout for me or one of the coolest parts and um you know by by that token it's like you know we have fallout 3 was in dc fallout 4 was in boston fallout new vegas was in new vegas i mean as long as obsidian makes <laughs> a another fallout game totally fine with that fallout new orleans would be sweet uh destiny trigger if you're interested in fallout in florida definitely look up fallout miami uh it is a it's like a fan-made mod that is almost completed as a full full expansion full game so definitely check it out you guys should definitely look up fallout fallout miami if if you guys are interested I'm going to target myself. I'm going to pitch an island and we're going to play a Pine Baron so that next turn we can Wolf Briar with an extra guy. Definitely a land. Pine Barons. And next turn we're probably just going to Wolf Briar. We might play Wayfinder to get one more land. sacrifice it unless you discard a card at random it's just balduvian horde right what is is this just balduvian horde from a portal set oh blast of genius is a banger that card they have one card in hand that's actually really good for us i might just wolf briar oh they didn't even attack and they accidentally skipped their combat phase oh my god the rich get richer my dudes um Okay, yeah, I kind of like just playing Wolfbriar here for for two. And then we can actually play, like, Wayfinder Angler the following turn, maybe? So, we'll kick it for one. So, we got to pay one, two, three, four, five. All right. And I'm pretty clearly double blocking here. So one, two, three for Wayfinder. Then we have one, two, three, and then we have to... I don't really want to exile anything from our graveyard, so probably not going to be Angler Wayfinder. That was a solid, solidly sized Oopsie-Daisy. They have one card in hand. I feel good about that. Well, we just win the game. <laughs> Okie dokie. Actually, Kozilex Predator for four, and then playing land green wayfinder land that would have been that would have been good anyway we won the game i don't know if you guys noticed do we have any other cheap guys arachnus would actually could be good here um puppeteer click i don't think i care about a ton i don't hate divest I think that's fine. You guys haven't played Fallout? You stupid idiots! No, it's it's literally my favorite game franchise. I love the lore, I love the environment, I love the the stories. I think the thing I loved most about the interplay Fallout games, Fallout 1 and 2, was how engaging it was. Like, when you talk to, like, the NPCs, you have, like, five different uh, chat options, like, and then, like, they'll say something back, and then you get to respond however you want. And that level of depth and, like, customization in terms of dialogue was so appealing. I was like, this is amazing. You know, it's it, it reminded me of, my, like, choose-your-own-adventure books, like, when you are a kid. And I was like, this is amazing.
first time I saw Bioshock was Frank playing an absolute dude. Mark, did you have you played Bio all the Bioshock since then? Because that's crazy, dude. That's awesome, man. I hope you like them. Okay. I kind of want to keep this. I don't like actually F6ing when I have Devoted Druid because if they have something stupid like Steal Your Guy or something, I want to be able to sack it in response. Or like, you know, this deals three to you and three to your brother. It's like, well, okay, but it's not. I think we're just Civic Wayfindering here. Phantom Monster is cool, but I also want to play around like Force Spike. I don't know if they have that, but. I mean, just getting extra lands in our hand is great. None of our cards require double blue, though, so I'm actually just going to get another green in case they kill the Devoted Druid. Yeah, Mass Effect does something similar, but I like the environment. I like the post-apocalyptic, like, 1940s, 50s vibe of Fallout so much better. I'm a huge fan of period things from the 1940s through the 60s. Like, I've watched Mad Men, like, five, five times. Nah, it's like three or four. So, like, for me, like... That's why, like, I'll always be way more excited about a Fallout than, like, a game like Star Starfield. Because it just... The, the, the appeal is just so much greater for me. For, for Fallout. And don't get me wrong, I know Mass Effect games are good. You know, I think they're... I think they're super cool. I don't know what's going on here. Second main. They haven't played a single card yet. This is very strange. Yeah, play the green. Is this where they ambush me? I don't even know what they could have. Like, there's so many sets and so many cards in this cube. Or, not, it's not even a cube, it's Chaos Draft. It's not even a cube. I mean, do I just play Phantom Monster and hope they don't have, like, deal three to everything? Sure. They could also just counter this. It's totally fine. Everything's fine. All right. Let's see how much value you get off of my board right now. I mean, we still have Mana War and Compulsive Research and Phyrexian and Jester, which is pr pretty good value. Um, also, they played, like, one drop, two drop, four drop aggressive last turn. So it's like, where are those cards right now? Okay, we are currently 4-0. I don't know what happened that game, but I... They, sometimes that happens and I'm like, you guys know you can mulligan, right? I don't know how, but I never played Bioshock until 2016, and I managed to make it 10 years without having the game as well. It's not a game that's, like, heavily talked about, and it's also really, like, the thing about Bioshock is it's really hard to kind of explain the ending. It's hard to, like, overhear someone talking about the Bioshock ending twist, because, like, it's just not... I don't know. It doesn't feel popular enough, but I, I definitely understand, like, you didn't come across it in, like, reading or, like, social media, so... Seems good. Seems okay. All 
All right. Let's see if we can trophy this bad, bad Larry. Oh, the, the, the plot of, of Bioshock Infinite blew my fucking mind wide open. I was like, oh my god! Like, I actually didn't see it coming. And I was really wondering how they were going to finish it off. I almost have six through this turn. That would have been crazy, right? Tap out for what? If you haven't played the Bioshocks, you definitely should. They're definitely worth playing, and they're not super long. Like, I think m me and Mike played Bioshock Infinite in, like, five parts. If we get to hit a land next turn, we can go Wolfbriar into multi-kick. Wow, they spell-snared my fucking druid. Holy crap. Super Fritz, how is the one tattoo you want to get Bioshock theme and not Demon Souls themed? Come on, land. Daddy needs a land. Cool. That is unfortunate. Well, we're still alive, I guess. It's only a land drop. Mike B is doing just fine. One thing that's daunting about Fall is the amount of content. Yeah, but that's funny to me because, like, I'm like, man, I don't really want to get it, get into Witcher because oh, that's really good. It's because it's so long. But then I'm like, God, Fallout, I can just, I just want to talk to every person in the game. I want to hear all of their, all of their dialogues. Because also in Fallout, there's a lot of crazy people that are like, Hey, what are you doing? That's my plutonium. Oh, I'm on the plutonium. Bit. And you're just like, holy shit, these characters are fantastic, man. I don't know, there's just something about Fallout. It just really just captures my, my feels. I would be bold to say Bioshock 3 is the best game I've played like in my whole life. <laughs> I've never played a better game than this. Give me a swamp. That'd be super cool. They did not give me that. Oh, they just let that resolve? Hmm. Okay. I accept. I like, look, I love me some Dark Souls like nobody's been. He really does. He never shuts up about it. It's unreal. I've never seen a thing. Uh, but I really want to get a Bioshock Chains on so the man chooses and a slave obeys. That's like, it that sounds solid, actually. I'm gonna just gonna go to the next game. This is just like... <sighs> We're not dead, right? Like, we have a, a bevy of creatures in hand. Three, specifically. It's unfortunate. I like a boom boom down. Choking tethers to cycle. Okay, well, they clearly have another counter spell, otherwise they would have tapped my my attacker. So we just gotta just gotta wade through all the counter spells, man. Oh yes, we haven't even gotten to the, the Fallout soundtracks and like the music. It just hits all the right buttons for me, man. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I guess I'm trying to. Do you ever play games out that you can't win just to scout the opponent's deck in games like this? Yeah, sometimes. But I mean, like, for me, the time equity is way more important for me. Like, I can get to bed sooner. I can go watch YouTube and read some comics sooner. Like, that's more important to me than, like, 
than like seeing like three extra cards you know like all right cool you can show me more cards but like i just don't feel like dealing with it i kind of like web and i kind of like counterspell here let's take out girls on film girls on boom they got torn souls i think all right i will say yes or no also we had a mulligan f to six and they got to kill my druid we've had a mulligan every game despite having what i think is pretty fine mana actually we'll send bone splinters back we don't really have a bone splinters hand I'm gonna not crack Terramorphic Expanse yet because I don't want to draw the Bone Splinters and because also I want to maximize their chance to hit a land. I have not heard of Dwayne and Brando. Yeah, I want. I just want to concede here and and get these matches I can't win over with so I can just play some Fallout sooner. Blue, because if it's a blue, I'll get a black. If it's black, I'll get a. If it's a Puppeteer click, I'll be miserable. Just gonna get an island here and hope that we can hit a third land so we can compulsive research is there any functional difference no the, they both get basic lands they come to play tapped there they are functional reprints of one another werebear i fucking love werebear man that guy's such a banger okay so like again we're playing our sweet 2020 deck and we're going to lose the third round because we can't draw a third land or a fourth land. That's cool. Yep. Girls on film. Girls on film. Land? All right, and we can compulsive here. We go down to, yeah, we're gonna compulsive here. Just give me one land, so two cards are going, my dude. Um, This is wild. Probably click, we have no black, and we're gonna have one black, and probably Mast Admirers. So we can Pine Barrens and Star Compass next turn. Spell snare. They did not spell snare. What the hell's Elden Ring? What are you saying right now? So next turn, if we draw land, we can play Gnarled Pack as a 3-3. Three, three. Keep up Counterspell? That doesn't sound terrible. Well, we gotta draw land, I guess. can't get my boy back oh, I can't get my boy and I'm sure this is getting countered they have six cards in hand Elden Ring is the next game from software from software is making with Miyazaki and the old oh my god so it's just another Demon Souls game Jesus Superfits what do you enjoy about those games I don't actually under I've never I've never really gotten the appeal but you seem to like hyper like them and I don't I guess I don't understand 
Also, now that you mentioned George R. R. Martin, it does sound familiar. Like, I remember playing, me and Mike played Bloodborne for like 15 minutes and we were like, this is just not fun. Like, it's just too hard. I was just like, I, I was just not enjoying this. Like, I like a challenge. I really do like a game with, like, that's that's somewhat hard. But, like, I feel like the Blood Bloodborne Demon Souls games are just so, like, aggressively hard. It's just like, this is not reasonable. George R.R. R. Martian? Fuck, that guy's phenomenal. Okay, well we are hitting some lands. One, two, three, four. So we can we can play Gnarled Pack as a three three. Like, I think I'm just a bigger fan of games where I don't want to throw the controller across the room. <laughs> so. God, I'm so, like, being, being stuck on mana in this game is so bad. We've missed at least two land drops so far. We can't keep up Counterspell. We can't play Ingester. We can't start getting our Mast Admirers back. Like, I don't know. I feel like 17 land with one bounce land is a good amount. Especially since we have Star Compass, Devoted Druid, and Everflowing Chalice, and Explore. I'm definitely blocking Hootie Mandrels. Like, does not actually seem close. Yep. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, that card's fucking bananas. Oh boy. <laughs> so I guess we just cast that and get back like. Do any of these cards get things out of the graveyard? Not really. So every land is just a five-five. Yeah, that card's friggin' unbeatable. I mean, alternatively, we can sift here. We're taking five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's not going to win any games here. Yes, Master Myers. I get it. You know, I don't have two green. Stop tormenting me. Let's get Click and Wolf Briar. I think those produce the best value. So uncommon? Yeah, that guy got moved to uncommon a while ago. Yep. I can't block. <sighs> the funny thing is, even if we cast Ingester here, it doesn't do anything because we get to eat one. We take, we have two blockers. I guess we go to one. That seems exciting. Like, we almost have to play click, but we can't, so it doesn't matter. Might as well sift. Rakdos Carnarium, huh? Yep, three cards. Yep, that seems like it's just, can't be, I can't just be called a Skybreaker. 
Thanks for watching again, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com if you're looking for a great subscription service. You get 15% off with the link and promo code down below, and you can also just subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to support the content you are consuming right now. And uh, hopefully you'll consider that heading over to twitch.tv slash and uh, showing some love. Hopefully, either way, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.